Hello from Salem High School in New Hampshire. I'm John Sytek and today we're going to see a demonstration of the Latin translation game. It's an activity intended to promote interest and accuracy in translating Latin readings. The class is broken into groups which compete for extra bonus points awarded at the end of the quarter. I've described the game more fully uh, for any teacher who may be interested. At this point, the class has broken into its groups and has had a chance to prepare the reading. We are at day 20 of Latin 1, scheduled in the 90-minute block. So we're still at a pretty basic level, but you'll still get a good sense of the dynamics of the game. We still use the Jenny text, and today's reading is Aeneas in the court of Dido telling about the fall of Troy. Aeamos. Let's go. All right. The first group to go, let's see, is going to go. Mr. Sanchez, you didn't um, give us. The yeah. Yeah. I was to ask class, amicos, con loco, bo, nars, nara, bisna, malum, fortuna, fortuna, tri eye. Any pronunciation challenges, Vanessa? She said, not her best name. She didn't say the math part of it. You know, I, if she did, I didn't catch it. I'm going to let that, I'm going to let that go. Okay. Uh, the reading was pretty good. The Congo Cabo could have we got a few dents in the parking lot, but apart from that, it was, it was okay. Um, let's hear the English, please. I will assemble my friends in yours. Will you tell the bad fate of Troy? Any challenges to the reading? Everybody seems to be happy. Good. First question. How many words are in the accusative case? Two. How many? Two. They claim two. Everybody happy with two? No challenges to two? Correct answer is five. And I'll tell you then when we're finished the read. Troy I, case and why. Accusative, because it's a direct object. Accusative, direct object. Everybody happy with that? Uh, Nicole has a challenge. It's the gender, because it owns the bad fortune. It's of Troy owns the fortune. Nicole is right. So, and Caesar picks up a point. Uh, I would like you to tell me, tell the group class, the three verb properties of Narabis. The three verb properties of Narabis. Would this be a good time to tell you about the delay of game penalty? Future tense. Singular. And she claims singular and. And something. Something. I've heard future. I've heard singular, which is the number. Oh. Save yourself? Like I, I know it, but like I can't. You know when people say, I know it, but I just can't say it, you know what they're really saying? Yeah. I don't know it. That's what they're really saying. 
Okay, you have a seven for the round. The answer is it is second person. That's what you missed. Second person. Here are your accusatives. Meos, Tuos, Amikos, Malam, and Fortunam. They are all the accusatives. You have a seven for the round. Next group to go is going to go to La Barabamos. Uh, that group will be Caesar. Do you mean Laudabamos or? I mean Laudabamos. Narabo, Kumeo, Parvo, Filio, et Femina, Fruesa, in Opido. Meo Habitabam. Vitam bonam Troya Noaro Laudabamus. Everybody happy with the pronunciations? No challenges. Okay. Uh, I think I wanted to hear Kreusa and Vitam. Maybe I short. Okay. Nobody picked up on a pronunciation challenge. They're free. Uh, they're not going to cost them. So off to the English. I will tell. With my little son and woman, Kreusa, I used to live in my town. We used to praise the good life of the Trojans. No challenge. Be out for now. Can she repeat the last sentence? Can you, can you please repeat the last sentence, Nicole? We used to praise the good life of the Trojans. No challenges, and that's a good thing because it's a good reading. In your first question, how many words are ablative in your reading? Seven. Holy cow, seven? Anybody want to challenge seven? Well, Nicole, the correct answer is really seven. You're right. Uh, one of those words is kreusa. Why is that in the ablative? still part of the sentence with with as the preposition. It's with. Uh, this is a semi-trick question based on something I said in class. So I'll give you another chance. I said that it, oh, I no. gave the reason in class yesterday. You're sort of no. right, but not quite right. Woman. It's the woman. No, I'm looking. For, I made a point of describing it in class. I gave some examples and named it. Okay, and no, ch I'm going to call that. Uh, I'm, I got to call that because I did go over it. Nobody wants to challenge it. That last question of your three, the sum of the verb properties, the sum of the verb properties. She claims five. And you either agree or aren't challenging. The answer is five. Nine for the round. And a very nice round for you. Okay. Um, and that takes care of Caesar for this round. Okay. Uh, let's see. The next group to go is going to go to um, expectabant. Expectabant. That group will be how about uh, Virgil? Joseph. She said Gracie is Grikey. Grikey, Grikey, hard city, Grikey. So Caesar picks up the point. 
Dominique? She said, or she said, what's nun to be? She said, like, yeah, yeah, she said nun tai, so yeah, it's nun to be. Uh, so uh, Cicero picks up a point. Do you have a Nicole? She also mispronounced Gregos. Well, I'll call that part of Reiki family. Okay. Okay. I, I, um, the other, uh, yes? Um, I'm pretty sure she was parents in You know, that was a little shaky, but I'm going to give it to her. There was, I'll close with one more if anybody picked it up. and Because the others were sort of on the edge. The ASEAN it wasn't said correctly. Nobody seems to have picked up on ASEAN. So she had she had two and maybe a couple of strays, but she's allowed two anyway. So English, please. Messengers were announcing war. The Greeks will sail to Asia. The, Tro the Trojans were preparing war, and they were waiting for the Greeks. That's good. You avoided a mistake that many people make in that uh, reading. But it is, a good, and it is a good reading. First question: How many words are nominative in your reading? It's the right answer. Three is the right answer. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> the real crowd pleaser is always how many words are accusative. Challenge or you're straightening your hair? Well, we'll challenge, well <laughs> All right. I think it's two. That's got it. Every verb's got three, so Dominique, I'm sorry. Well, you were on the hook anyway. You had raised your hand, so clunk. There goes your point, by the way, that you picked up before. Uh, no, the four happens to be the right answer. Uh, last question. Uh, some of the verb forms. Five. Everybody happy with five? Four. Uh, third person, plural, imperfect, and future. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I might be off here. Uh, yeah, no, there is a future. That's right. Okay, so uh, you have nine for the round. Not bad. Okay. Um, all right, next group to go. We only have uh, two. Um, well, let's see how far we go. By the way, I didn't finish with Nicole, and that ablative of, with Caruso, nobody remembers the name? Apposition. Remember? When I said to Mrs. Collier, comma, the principal, comma, came into the room. Who came into the room? Mrs. Collier. Principal explains who she is. It's also nominative in apposition. Best way to find is to just give examples of what it is. And this was with my with my my small son and woman, Kurusa. Bonus question. Free bonus question. Nicole correctly translated that. We're going back to that section uh, as uh, I was living with my small son and woman, Kurusa, in my small town. Can anybody improve that by a word? With a word. Change a word. Vanessa? I was living with my little son, so I don't With what? I was going to say with my little son, but well, that, I, it's the same yes. thing. Well, wife, wife, wife. Wife, wife.
because we don't know the word for that and we're limited in our vocabulary. So guess what, Dominique? You get that point back. I'm kind of wearing out the paper here. Would wife oh. have been would wife have been wrong if you said it like if someone No, no, I would have taken it. Okay. I would have taken it. And if somebody challenged it, I probably would have just let that just go because it's I can see where there could be a problem understanding that. Next group to go is going to go to Woolner Abba. That group's going to be How about the? Uh, Cicero. Bellum and Patreon, Metum, Cori, Octava, Grike, Grecorum, Gladii, Metos, Trianos, Wolnum, Bum. Everybody happy with that? She said, hold on, I lost it. Um, she said vulnerabond, it's a vulnerabond. Vulnerabond, yeah, that, that was a little too shaky. Okay, so Vanessa gets a point for Augustus. Okay, how about some English? Keep a point. She went too far. Went too far. Terrible to give points away that way. Anyway, here we go. Uh, the translation was no challenges, and it was a good translation. Uh, the ever popular question: words in the accusative. happy with four. Uh, let's count them. Patrium, met, um, multos, pre, oh yeah, it's, no, oh, be, bellum, patrium, met, um, multos, preanos, for five, five. Okay, uh, next question, what is the subject of Wulmeraba? Trojans. No challenges? The answer is uh, oh, Joseph? Is it swords? Swords, gladii, yes, yes. Uh, you're going to have trouble making Troianos the subject. It's in the accusative. Speaking of accusative, so is Patrion. Why? for the round, one of which was an outright giveaway, but that's the breaks of the game. The next group to go is going to go, there's only two left, and that's Walter Abam. I'm going to go back to uh, Augustus. Troyani, Lover Obamas, Greiki, Troyani, Torianos, Superban, Cum Graecis, Feris, Pugnabum, et Multus Vulnerabum. Everybody happy with that? I think I would have liked to hear Vulnerab, uh, Superaban. It got a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, roughed up. Okay, uh, but nobody challenged. 
English, please. Hold on a second. We've been instructed to hold on a second. Sorry. We found it. Um, we the Trojans were suffering. The Greeks surpassed the Trojans. With wild Greeks, I was fighting and wounding many. Nicole. It's the Greeks were surpassing, not surpassing. Yeah, that's, a, that's always going to be haunting you, translating that imperfect that way. And I'm sorry, Nicole did pick up on that, and it's correct. Uh, it, you had every other imperfect right, but that one. Okay. Sorry. Um, otherwise, it was a good reading. First question. Ferries. Case and why? Ferries is nominative because it has to agree with Brikes. No challenges? Uh, Nicole? It's ablative and it has to agree, agree with Brikes and there's a queen before it. So okay, you're, you've, uh, you're giving me 11 items in the 10 item checkout. Uh, you gave me uh, more than enough. Look, your reason was right, but your case was wrong. Ablative. Nicole is right about that. Okay, uh, last question. Um, this is a hard question. I'm going to advertise it as a hard question. Trayani, case and why? Hard question. Because it's subject. It's nominative because it's an apposition with the subject we. So what's wrong? That was the speech I gave to Nicole with Krausa. We, the Trojans, were suffering. Seven for the round, Augustus. Last group to go is going to finish the reading, just this little shrivelly sentence. No, wait, wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, Virgil. Everybody happy with that? Yes. Can she reread the last sentence, uh, please? Reread it. There's only one sentence. Oh, no, it's two. You're right. Go ahead. The whole reading, or just, just the last sentence? sentence. Greti mayum, alpidum, altum, aquabot. Ashley? Um, she said occupant. Yeah, occupabon. She kind of dropped the syllable. Okay, so um, Cicero picks up a point. Um, she also said mayum, and I'm, oops, uh, uh, sorry, I didn't. Uh, you know what happened? You have these substitute officials, and it's just terrible. They just blow all the calls. Okay, uh, English, please. Oh, I 
What was that last sentence again, please? It was like the Greeks were seizing the town. Everybody, uh, Vanessa. Oh, okay. I got the Greeks were seizing my high town. My high town. You left out. You got the hard part right. You left that out. So Vanessa scoops up another point for Augustus. Uh, first question. How many words are plural in your reading? How many words are plural in your reading? Tricky question. Two. Everybody happy with two? The an Joseph? Three. The answer is three. And I'll tell you about that. Uh, they are Reiki. Uh, mala, Greiki, and Akupaban, the verbs plural. Uh -huh. Now, next question. Mala, case and Y. Why? Oh. <laughs> Four through two. Um, nominative. Because? It relates to the subject. Relates to the subject. That's a new one. Everybody oh, has. It, like, it, it like, modifies. Yeah. No. <laughs> Comedy? Nominative apposition. Nominative apposition. No. Can I like, say another thing? You want to risk another point? given your the answer is accusative direct object oh I tell you said bad bad things mala neuter accusative plural nasty question I know that um, next question what is the subject of akupaban subject of Akupaba.